rom-coms, Namzama, that we absolutely love. But I can only imagine as an actress, uh, you, there's comedic timing there. There's, there's a rapport, there's a relationship that you somehow need to find with this other actor. Absolutely. I think for us, um, sorry about my voice. Um, for us, I think it's just, um, we were lucky that we weren't involved in the comedy part of things because I don't find myself very funny. <laughs> but I think, you know, when it comes to comedy, you have to throw it away and then uh, allow the audience to catch it because when you try really hard to sound funny or to make something seem really funny, mm -hmm. I think that's when the audience doesn't, doesn't catch on to that. You know, the audience is not captivated by that. So I think um, Thomas Gumete, Tembisiete and Kachisolete did a sterling job at that. But, you know, they're just naturally, it, nat it naturally comes to them when it comes to comedy. But I think South African audiences are, are really going to enjoy this and they're going to um, find it endearing and, mm. and loving, yeah. right? Yeah. Maps, what is it about rom-coms? And I, and I think maybe from a viewer's perspective, we're not always open to the behind-the-scenes stuff. But when there's a love interest, that relationship's, relationship's got to come across honest. Yeah. Um, like you're connecting with the love yeah. interest. What is it about, what is that formula, that chemistry, when there's two leads? Or is it something like, I like the look of your face, let's make it work. Yeah, so it's a whole lot deeper than that. Um, I wish it was that simple, but uh, you know, you have to build on that chemistry mm. quite a lot because that's all it comes down to, you know, building that chemistry. We were fortunate um, in our rom-com to be able to spend a month of pre-production together um, ourselves and the rest of the cast but we got to know each other really well and we all got uh, quite close and um, you know got to know our 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 inners in terms of our lives and and things that most people didn't know about one another and that helps with starting to gel and starting to build up that trust and then when it came to the two of us having to get that chemistry um, it comes from I think it's something that has to happen with internalizing the process and and uh, really receiving what the person is saying and trying to um, trying to be as present as possible in that moment and giving back um, and you know we had to build up that trust and 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 build up that chemistry and uh, really let loose around each other and know that we could um, be comfortable around each other and then take it from there and I think in the end we, we managed to find that chemistry and yeah she's not she's not so bad she's easy to get along with. <laughs> Thank We're going to encourage everybody to go and watch this film but Absolutely. we from a South African perspective we don't really tell the romance the stories of romance although it's part of our DNA it's exactly. we all fall in love every day. Yeah. Uh, what is so unique about the South African love story? I think it's finally showing um, beautiful black people in a positive light. You know, we're tired of the world thinking that we pet lions and we keep giraffes in our backyards and we're, we're constantly, you know, talking about politics. Of course, the, pol the, 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 the political narrative is important because we need to know what happened. And, you know, and the story needs to be told. But I feel like it's time now for us to be portrayed in our everyday lives, mm. you know, and, and we fall in love. Love is the common thread. Mm. And I think what makes this film so different is the fact that, you know, everybody looks beautiful, mm. you know, and you want to just lick our skin. <laughs> I mean, I, I think just to add on to that, uh, and we, we love going to watch these romantic comedies, but mm. they're never anything that we can relate to. Yeah. Um, because mm -hmm. all our films are always political and about crime and about violence and about HIV and poverty and we end up always going to go watch the American romantic comedies and now finally we have something that we can relate to where people look like us and sound like us and, um, in, and in the places can you can recognize, yeah. yeah. Very quickly, for both of you, what was the awkward the most awkward moment. One thing that you went like, oh, I maybe uh, I'm our first kiss. Our first Jesus. kiss. <laughs> <laughs> so we reached like, we reached like take, take 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 twenty a, yeah. or something. Okay. So, so we show him what the kiss was like. Yeah. It was, it was yeah. like a yeah. Okay, so, so that was the awkward yeah. moment. <laughs> what, what, you know, you, when you were talking very quickly, uh, you're talking about people like Achiso Ladiga. I mean, he is such a comic genius. How do you, as an actor, from a very, I mean, acting, being an actor is a very serious thing, but how do you then interpret that comedic genius into your performance to make it look lighthearted and, and make sure that, that we connect as an audience very quickly? First of all, you don't try and laugh. Yeah. You try yeah. your best not to laugh. Yeah. Because he, you know, just naturally as a person, you could be having a decent conversation with him. 
him and he just he just makes you laugh mm. so i think it was just yeah. trying to not laugh and keep a very straight face when is it at cinemas map it came out yesterday and uh, it's opening weekend right now so it's in all cinemas the shows, 52 all the shows cinemas are, like, sold out. all across um, <laughs> africa and it's actually in nigeria zimbabwe zambia okay. um, and uh, nigeria so there's yeah. no reason not to watch it <laughs> guys thank you very much for joining me in studio that's uh, maps Punyane and uh, nomzamo mbato the leads of tell me sweet something uh, it uh, was released on cinemas yesterday so go and watch your, grab, uh, your granny your grandfather your mom your mom your auntie everybody even the neighbor go and check it out we need to have a big opening weekend we take an ad break don't go anywhere